Alright. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all. So, welcome to Unique LMSI. Uh, you guys are enrolled in this program, Bachelor of Engineering Technology, Honors in Mechanical Design, or the short term is uh, BTMD. So this program is uh, fully accredited by MQA, and uh, we received our full accreditation last year, uh, in the year of 2020. My name is uh, Johan Isan bin Mahmoud and I am your program coordinator for this program. Uh, this is a little background of myself. Uh, I've been working here for about uh, 10 years. Previously, I've, I worked for a few companies outside, but mainly in uh, Penang. Some of the places I've been, my first job as a mechanical engineer, my second job as a design mechanical engineer and my third job is an uh, R&D engineer and currently I'm here lah. so I am your lecturer uh, teaching mechanical courses and also design courses and uh, I've been here for about probably around 10 years okay so welcome to our campus so this is our campus from the air from the top so it's not very big but it's quite compact in terms of the uh, places you can go so you can easily access many places within a short distance of time so if you look from here here is probably uh, our hall this is our surau pusat islam this is our main uh, building this is another wing and this is our very big and large workshop there's a new building here a new workshop and you've got uh, welding welding workshop is not here this is uh, some cabins for you guys to do some work and you've got another cabin so these are some of the places you can go lah. so we are situated in Kulim High Tech at the entrance of the Kulim High Tech Alright, so we are UNIKEL, there are a lot of campuses in Malaysia and uh, the campus in uh, Kedah is called uh, MSI, Malaysian Spanish Institute. Uh, Alright, so we are here and uh, our campus is uh, University Milik Penuh Mara, yeah. so we are bounded by Mara. So you have to follow what Mara says. Okay, so some background. You guys are engineers soon. So some, some background on uh, what engineering um, is all about. So if you look at uh, engineer to population ratios, Malaysia, we are currently at about 32 million, right? 32 million citizens. So this was uh, previous data that we had lah, when we were at about 30 million so number of registered engineers about 128k so the ratio is 1 to 234 so we have other developed nations for example Germany 82 million people about three times about our citizens huh? they have about 1 million engineers a lot of people in technical fields uh, yeah Japan 127 million huh? even though the island is quite small uh, 2.8 million people in technical fields uh, engineering fields UK is about 60 million about 425k it's about 141 to 1 ratio uh, in terms of population so we are developing nations we're not yet fully developed nations so we are we are getting there uh, in terms of technological advances some background this was um, last year's data uh, 2020 2020 yeah this was 2020 engineer and uh, engineering and manufacturing salary tables this is based on 12 month salary roughly la. so senior engineer is getting about 
minimum 84k senior engineer but you have to work for a few years first lah in order to get senior engineer last time i work for about i think three years lah after three years typically they will promote you to senior engineers lah media 90 so engineering managers a bigger responsibility lah so if you have bigger responsibility you get bigger amount of money lah that's real senior engineering manager many many more years down the road lah director of engineering about 25 250k minimum project engineer senior project manager uh, this is probably where you guys should be lah this is your target design engineer is about 75 83k as a uh, starting this one is where you are Mecha mechanical design engineer 80 to 100k we try our best okay we learn our best so you've got a uh, process engineer process engineering manager electrical engineer a lot a lot more so this is based on uh, this consultancy la, michael page consultancy okay so let's go back to our degree program so if you guys becomes uh, mechanical design engineers there are typically four things which is very very important for you guys to do lah as mechanical design engineers number one is definitely for you guys to do design you guys need to turn uh, research ideas so what kind of research ideas you have you have to convert them into technical plans and then uh, create prototypes so other than that you also have to use um, typically now you have to use CAD lah CAD uh, to communicate your design and then you have to do computer assisted engineering or computer aided engineering uh, software to do things like analysis so nowadays you can uh, get help from computers to do analysis before you even execute your design or design changes so not only doing design you have to do you also have to do testings and validations so these are the things that you have to do you have to test your design you have to collect data uh, analyze uh, the specification is it according to the customer's requirements is it what was required by the people that ask you to do the design and make sure it is ready for manufacturing so you want to design something which is manufacturable feasible to be manufactured we do not want to design something very complicated to be to be manufactured that's not the case and if it goes for mass production you need to keep the cost down uh, you also need to do reporting reporting in terms of uh, progress in terms of your design communication how do you uh, communicate using CAD and also drawings all this thing needs to be properly uh, kept and you also need to maintain a proper bill of materials or bomb so bomb is where you get uh, all your parts they could be hundreds of parts they could be thousands of parts they could be tens of thousands of parts like if you have in the car right there's tens of thousands of parts in a car you are the one which is maintaining it whatever it is inside there screws brackets whatever so you need to maintain a proper bill of material so this is basically your responsibility lah as mechanical design engineers and you need to collaborate also right collaborate with electrical engineers to make sure uh, everything works well all right so let's take a look at um, current scenario you can refer here click on this link one of the uh, easiest uh, way for you guys to job search go to this website lah it's been around i think 20 years more than 20 years jobstreet.com.my uh, you can key in uh, engineering and uh, look for jobs lah how many people in uh, engineering it could vary lah from time to time 
this is another one key in mechanical and uh, look at the advertisements what are they looking for is your job mechanical design still relevant or not so you have to look at it so key in this is something that you have to do and uh, be concerned even though you are in the first week la, of working or no of being in unique lmsi so what are they looking for mechanical design engineers mechanical design engineers mechanical design engineers so these are the advertisements that is relevant to your degree <coughs> you can even turn on uh, alerts right alerts i know it's very very soon but this is to keep you informed whenever there is a job uh, titled mechanical design this will go to your inbox because we want to keep ourselves relevant to the industry we do not want to learn anything which is not relevant only relevant things so our degree program uh, you guys are number one when you graduate you guys will be uh, mechanical engineers first lah. you guys will learn mechanical mechanical first you guys are mechanical engineers first so all the required things that needs to be learned when you are uh, working for mechanical so you guys are full-fledged mechanical engineers but you also have the advantage of being able to do proper designs so this is, this is an added thing uh, for you so you guys are first mechanical engineers you guys are second specializing in design so you can take care of uh, mechanical jobs you are competent with that but you have the advantage of a uh, specializing in design la. so this is where you are so we are going to concentrate on a lot of things la. mechanical section uh, manufacturing fields even automotive uh, electronics and such so this is our um, degree program la, accreditation from mqa you can even refer to um, mqa website and we are also accredited by board of engineers malaysia or BEM you can refer to BEM website provided in this link uh, it is under engineering technology accreditation council or ETEC so MSI is one of the uh, campuses which is accredited by uh, ETEC so we are supervised by these people lah. so at the beginning of your degree you guys will be learning um, foundation subjects foundation subjects on mechanical engineering and also manufacturing uh, knowledge how to be proper mechanical engineers and how to be proper manufacturing engineers and in the middle of your degree program you will learn uh, specialized design courses so courses are specialized for your degree program which is design okay and finally you guys are going to use all the knowledge that you have learned in your previous uh, courses and you will use all your design knowledge to create complex design that complies with engineering standards so you need to take care on uh, things like safety reliability environmental impact and most importantly function so you guys are more uh, more responsible on functionality so functionality is number one number two is aesthetics so there's a difference lah. we are not industrial design so industrial design industrial design people right they are very very concerned on aesthetics only we are mechanical design so mechanical design we are very concerned on functionality safety reliability and uh, these are our main concern we are less concerned on aesthetics 
industrial design people they don't know how to design the internal parts they don't know how to design the mechanism parts they are more concerned on the human side of it and also aesthetics so we are engineers basically okay so we are our program is uh, based on uh, OBE which is objective based education so we have things like BEO which is program educational objectives so this is our main objectives uh, for our program there are five BEOs this is uh, to concern on uh, knowledge and uh, we are going to develop your soft skills leadership and also towards uh, lifelong uh, learning we want to make you guys professional and ethical and also you guys are also be able to embark on business and also technopreneurial activities these are our main objectives of the degree so in order to achieve all these five uh, PEOs we need to yeah we need to uh, get this all five PEOs from uh, 12 things which is program learning outcomes so these are five if you look at this this is kind of like a university level uh, main objective of the program so this is more localized towards your degree program so you guys are going to be learning 12 components which is knowledge yeah you'll be learning knowledge problem analysis you'll be learning on design investigation using modern tools you guys will be learning on engineer and society environmental and ethics yeah individual and teamwork so communications you guys will be learning on communication uh, project management and finance and finally lifelong learning so all these 12 PLOs will be supported by subjects so typically you'll be learning about I think 55 subjects so maybe subject number one here subject number two subject number three this one is probably sub, uh, supported by 10 subjects this is probably supported by seven five so a lot of subjects they will support all these uh, learning outcomes so if you learn properly in your degree program uh, all your PLOs will be achieved lah. all this uh, knowledge this thing will be supported by your assessments and such okay so you'll get uh, to know about this later on lah, when you work and you go to classes your lecturers will explain to you more okay so in terms of uh, subjects uh, these are typically the subjects that you will take lah. they are f uh, it's a four-year program four-year program so they are uh, how many semesters typically so they are eight semesters eight semesters however with uh if you can you guys get a uh, credit transfer a lot of subjects will be uh, credit transferred and you do not have to learn uh, the whole 55 54 subjects uh, for your degree programs right you guys can uh, get credit transfers for subjects that you have learned before during your diploma however the subjects are arranged based on uh, difficulties uh, and based on the on how it should be learned there are things like prerequisites for example if you would like to learn uh, engineering mathematics 2 you need to have uh, basics of engineering mathematics 1 so this is pretty much basic lah. so these are semesters 1 2 3 4 five six seven and eight during your eighth semester you'll be uh, taking a six month six months internship so which is we call industrial training 
So if you look at your subjects, huh, it's a combination. Uh, you have uh, technical subjects, you have uh, other subjects, English, you've got uh, mechanical subjects, you've got manufacturing subjects, you've got electrical, electronics uh, subjects. Uh, it's a combination of all things. And you have design subjects. So according to the uh, syllabus. Lah. And uh, you also have to take something called elective subjects. So elective subjects 1, elective subject 2, and elective subject 3. So all these uh, elective subjects you can choose from here. Lah. There are seven, um, seven subjects that you can choose from according to your interest. Yeah, number one. You can look at your interest. Lah. Uh, maybe this is relevant to the industry that you want to work later on. So take subjects which is relevant. Maybe this is relevant to your final year project. So learn all these things. So it is kind of grouped into clusters. Lah. So this one is basically mechanical subject. This one is uh, if you want to learn automotive. This is mechanical this is more on automotive, lah, automotive design engineering and also automotive structure. Applied computational fluid dynamics is basically you learn uh, CFD, computational fluid dynamics. And then uh, automotive design engineering, yeah, you learn how to design a vehicle, automotive structure. You learn how to design vehicle body. How do you design the body of a car, the door of a car, the front bumper of a car? How do you design all those things? CNC technology is definitely uh, how do you program uh, all those codes, G codes, into programming. Smart manufacturing is the 21st century. How do you do manufacturing with a lot of sensors that can uh, give information on your manufacturing processes? So smart manufacturing, if you guys are interested in electrical and electronics uh, more, so take this subject, Electric Machine Fundamentals and also Introduction to Robotics. So the, again, it depends on uh, whatever you like. You can take 1, 2, 3 or you can take 1 with this one and uh, this one depends on you. Okay, So you decide. So this is better uh, a better view. Lah. <coughs> Uh, on how your subjects are arranged. Let's look at the first one. In terms of mechanical knowledge, what are the things that you should learn? Engineering mechanics. You learn about statics and also dynamics. <coughs> and you learn about strength of materials, how uh, stresses and strains Basics on material science, uh, all the basic uh, mechanical knowledge. Lah. You can ask any mechanical engineers in the world. These are the subjects that they will have to take. Thermal science, uh, finite element application is on um, how to do FEA analysis. Engineering material is more on uh, how do you test material, tensile tests, compression tests, uh, how do you measure material brittleness, impact tests, so things like that. Fluid mechanics, uh, you learn about fluid, pneumatic and hydraulic systems, you learn about um, all these applications, vibration and noise, uh, heat transfer and thermal management, so all these are mechanical subjects. Later on you will learn about uh, manufacturing subjects, quality, manufacturing technology, in terms of metrology or measurement science. You learn about industrial safety, CAD CAM, how to do rapid prototyping, and also definitely the basic one, which is uh, workshop technology. So once you have uh, these two knowledge, you are very competent to do design. So you learn uh, basic first, which is uh, engineering design process, you will learn engineering, drawing, and CAD. How do you model using CAD? 
and then you will learn about things like uh, ergonomics how do you design for human human factors you learn about design for plastics and also uh, plastic parts what are the rules on how to design for plastics machine component design is when you learn how to design using standard parts for example bearing shafts how do you calculate what kind of bearing that you should use what kind of shaft that you should uh, get what kind of screw which is good what size of screw m5 m6 m3 and then uh, you learn about design for sheet metal forming any metal parts how do you design sheet metal parts for example the front bonnet of the car hmm, how do you design that you learn about forming technology and then you also learn about mechanisms how do you design machines and how do you design mechanisms these are the design knowledge that you will learn in terms of uh, electric electronics knowledge you learn about yeah basic things electrical electric circuit analysis computer programming and also uh, iot which is internet of things so this has to do a lot of uh, programming and with devices and such in terms of mathematics you learn about uh, applied statistics uh, mathematics there's two things lah, which is engineering mathematics one and also two finally the project is divided into two things lah. finally a project one and also finally a project two finally a project one is four credit finally a project two is six credit on its own and also you have got intra lah. so again uh, this is uh, clusters for your uh, elective course definitely choose three only okay so you've got automotive and also manufacturing also mechatronics this is on thermofluids so choose accordingly all right of course you've got uh, subjects which is compulsory uh, english everybody has to take a uh, foreign subject which is foreign language you can either take mandarin one and two or you can also learn uh, Spanish 1 and 2 so choose either one entrepreneurship you learn how to do create uh, your own business this is how to be professional engineers these are the subjects that will make you human beings lah, and also enhance your leadership so if you look at all these subjects there is a uh, city 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 uh, some of you will get credit transfer for these subjects lah. Uh, you don't have to this is here CT credit transfer for mathematics one okay so depends on your previous subjects uh, I mean previous diplomas so you can get um, some exemptions in terms of credit transfer so typically about 48 <laughs> credit transfer lah. for this one is for MDD so in terms of um, how many percentage uh, you are learning these are basic things lah. mechanical 23% manufacturing 10.5 17.8 is on design so as I was saying you guys are mechanical engineers first you guys are specializing in design okay the rest are depicted in this uh, pie chart so teaching staffs uh, these are some of our lecturers here in uh, mechanical engineering section you'll get to know them uh, once you're here these are some of our uh, dedicated staff there are eight dedicated staff however we have a lot more lecturers la, in mechanical section i think 30 or 30 plus lectures but these are the dedicated lecturers teaching this program okay this is too soon for you guys to think but it's a good idea to have a background what is a proper final year project you should <laughs> should look like uh. <coughs> so as I was saying uh, about 28 people uh, 28 lecturers in uh, our program so these are the people that can become your prospective supervisors lah. 
uh, yeah, your FYP or your final year project <coughs> should be something of your interest. You're going to be working with it for about one year, right? <coughs> so make sure you enjoy doing it. Don't choose something that you don't enjoy. Make sure you choose something that, yeah, I have interest in this. I want to do this every day. So it should also help you in your career. So you want to be mechanical design engineers. You want to be uh, involved in design. It should help you with your job. So you should be able to explain your final project properly during your job interview. So you have to do something, something relevant, okay? Not something irrelevant. So typically uh, for your FYP, there should be a few things lah that should comply with this. The project should uh, align with industrial needs. You should have a proper design methodology and it should have a full detail design and some calculations and iterations. You should use uh, computer aided engineering tools and also analysis. So no longer you should just uh, select and just use no, right? So you have to justify lah what kind of things, what kind of analysis that you're using, what kind of um, calculation to be involved. So everything needs to be calculated. You have to justify. For example, you are using uh, this kind of screw. Uh, the diameter of the screw is 5 mm. So you need to justify lah, why do you choose 5 mm? Is it enough to handle the shear stress on this uh, bolt? Oh, these are the things that you should take a look at. You should also uh, be able to provide mockups or prototypes or some digital CAD models. Lah. If it's too complicated to be fabricated uh, in terms of mockups and prototypes, you should have these uh, complex CAD models with all your mechanisms. So designs produced must be feasible, must be able to be manufactured. You don't want to be designed which is not feasible to be manufactured. Uh, you should also consider things like material costing, uh, manufacturing cost, and also you should have uh, proper technical drawings. Things like exploded views, bill of materials, so you should know better what other things should be involved. So how do you get ideas? So ideas is a very important thing. Huh? So you should, you should brainstorm. Lah. Brainstorm ideas on your own or with your friends. Solve a problem with your design. It can be a domestic problem, small, medium industry, or even multinational companies. Or design a machine to improve a process or a function. Uh, we can also optimize on existing designs. You look at current design, is it good enough? Improve it. So maybe you can uh, improve the effective eff effectiveness of the machine. Maybe you can reduce cost. Who knows? Also, you can also uh, use uh, projects or knowledge that you have learned before in your degree program, right? Every single uh, knowledge here, you have projects that you learn in class. You have labs that you learn in class. Maybe you want to take it further, make it better, right? So take a look at your subjects that you have learned. There's so many subjects that you have learned. Take a look at it, okay? Get ideas from there. But the best one is the one that you get from the industry itself. So how do you get one from the industry? Maybe you have uh, linkages to the industry. If you don't have linkages, you have to research a good FYP topic. How do you research a good FYP topic? Look at job advertisements. Pergi balik job street. So look at job street. Uh, make sure your topic is relevant to the market trends. Things are changing every single day. 
So for example, if I key in mechanical design, I'm going to look at a few companies here. So these are the companies that are uh, providing my, my job, your job, right? Mechanical design engineers. Look at the advertisements. What are they looking for? They are looking for people with good 3D modeling, solid modeling, solid designer, good track record in ultra high machine design, mechanism design, knows FEA simulation. This is one job ads. Uh, things like control automation, um, solid works modeling, electronic equipment, right? Electronics is very important. Uh, another job ad, English, Chinese. So, okay, you guys are learning Mandarin. Uh, mechanical or automotive. Expert in SolidWorks. Designed for manufacturability. And also experience in charge of uh, auto screwing fastening machine. Hmm, this is a good FAP topic. Auto screwing machine. Glue dispenser machines. Uh, design this one. Precision mechanical. Mechatronics. You are good in tolerance analysis. Motion system design. So these are the things which is the key things that you should do in your final year projects. So look at the company. What kind of product it is producing. So if you look at this uh, company, Moduplast, you can... Uh, design your own FIP topic right so for example this is one of the topic design and development of an automated carton packing machine for use in production line so you can put a carton here a box it is uh, separated like that you want to tape it so you want to tape here right tape so this thing will go in wrap and then goes out taped this is the height can be varied you can change the height according to bo your box size so this is a good FRP topic why because it's relevant to the industry another good one this is from the company called Vitrox look at the job advertisement industrial 4.0 yeah that's why you have to learn IOT that's why you have to take smart manufacturing smart manufacturing elective so research design develop vision inspection equipments so these are the things so look at the company they are doing uh, printed circuit boards or pcb assembly for semiconductor so you've got uh, pcbs you want to test its functionality. You want to bring this top plate down and then test functionality. So design and development of a printed circuit board probe tester. You got all these pins, pins, these are probes to test for functions. Another company, this is another company in uh, Batu Kawan. It's a company called VAT Manufacturing. What do they do? They are doing all these gates and valves and something called bellow. So they are doing these bellows, welded bellows. So do something relevant to them and then ask for internship at this company. You are doing uh, one year work according to the company already, right? So they want people with some background, technical knowledge. So VAT, this one is something called a welded bellow. They are doing for pipes, which has some misalignment. So you want to couple these pipes with this welded bellow. Any misalignment or vibration, it can, it can still cater. La. It can still hold the internal pressure of the pipe. So things like this. So you got to think and look at job advertisements. So look at where do you want to work. This is relevant. Okay. 
So some of the good FYP teams is on uh, machine design, design machineries. Uh, probably not if you're not interested in uh, machine design. But you guys should be interested lah in machine design. This is our field. This is our forte. So machine design is a good good team. You guys can also be involved in uh, component designs. For example, if you are catering for automotive, definitely you cannot design the whole car. Probably you can design the gearbox. So one part of it is a component from a bigger system. So components design is also very, very important. Machine design, components design. Also, you can be involved in product mechanical design. How do you design products? There's a lot of sketches. And then uh, there is also things like mechanism design and also me analysis. How do you design for mechanisms? For example, this one, this is the jaw of a fireman. So what kind of stresses are we looking at here? What kind of uh, clamping force or jaw opening force we are looking at with the uh, time? So if this one looks like moto, moto powered, right? So how, how much torque should be applied at the moto in order to open up this jaw? Open force like this. So you are involved in uh, mechanism design. Linkages. How does it work? Uh, this, what do you call this? Tractor arm. Uh, this tractor arm, what is happening here? What are we looking at here? This is hydraulic cylinder. Hydraulic cylinder. What kind of displacement are we looking at here in order for this thing to move? So. There's a very complex graph here. All the different things moving and interacting with each other. So we need to know lah how much force should be applied at the bucket in order for it to lift things. Okay, Mechanism design. Or you can also do uh, analysis, design analysis or optimization. Uh, for example, you've got this thing. This is the initial design. You can do topological optimization and you find out no need to make it so big and heavy and bulky. You can reduce a uh, certain mass in the original part. So probably you get, I don't know, 20% weight reduction. Any weight reduction leads to uh, cost saving this is another example this part is so heavy and bulky so you have to study lah boundary condition what kind of load are we looking at here what kind of reaction force do you have here model it for example you can lock you know i don't want this design to change you can lock the surface you can lock this section only optimize this part so your computer will uh, output uh, something like this. So it's not uh, feasible to be manufactured something like this. You guys have to convert lah into something manufacturable. So this is your work lah. Convert it to a proper CAD. This is another one. Uh, you've got a uh, plastic part. This is by using this section lah. Typically this is the section of a ribbed design you can change it to this design so there's no need for this uh, rib section as long as you can maintain the performance so this is your job there's a 20 percent weight reduction using this design so save money lah. so that's our job our job as engineers is to save money and also be responsible in the safety and performance. Another part which is properly designed from original to final. Yeah, optimal design. So some of the frequently asked questions. Yes, you can work alone or you can uh, get partners or you can get groups. Uh, you can read this on your own later on, right? 
some of the typical students FYP topics you can read here what kind of topics which is suitable for you guys some more here on uh, FYP topics so we do also do some visits to uh, industrial area in the Kulim High Tech some of the photos of those seniors which already graduated uh, what kind of uh, project do they do they do FYP they do CAD design right this is a uh, CAD design and then they convert it into proper technical drawings uh, technical drawings and then this is the real part lah. Uh, this is another design this is screwing machine and then this is the real part okay how about this one this is a robotic arm and then uh, this is the final product this is a rotating PV cell a PV cell that can rotate and search for sun so it rotates uh, tracking the sun so you design on your cat and you can fabricate to prove that your design works so these are the things that you are going to uh, put in your thesis and you need to sell yourself lah. bring your thesis for your job interviews explain what you do for your final project explain why you are competent mechanical engineers mechanical design engineers technically not only you can you know theory you also know fabrication you also know how to do hands-on things okay all right some more projects more complicated one this is a um, welding process CNC welding machine this is very complicated it uses a computer to control you can connect it to a welding machine so it can do welding lah. this is also done by your seniors in mechanical design some of our graduates already graduated and already working so this guy is uh, working in Toyo tires I think in Taiping so FYP title is also helping uh, for their job lah. make sure you do relevant FYP topics some of the another of uh, alumni lah, another graduated from our program currently working in automotive lighting in Batu Kawan another alumni working as a application engineer and uh, yeah graduated last year 2020 so we have labs for all our subjects so a lot of uh, mechanical design labs to cater for all our subjects so you can refer here and also we have a lot of computer rooms what are the subjects uh, what are the softwares available and we are situated in uh, Kulim High Tech lah. we are surrounded by a lot of companies so you have to take advantage of this there's plenty more in Penang there's a lot of companies like in Penang huh? we kind of like a Silicon Valley yeah, of the northern region so industrial uh, placement these are some com some companies which is providing uh, industrial placement intra for you guys yeah you guys also have uh, availability to get uh, Mara loans which is yeah pinjaman boleh ubah if you study hard might have to pay only a little bit lah from your convertible loans but some of you will get uh, GPA scholarship also but GPA scholarship I think a title uh, you have to uh, you don't need to pay anything I, to, I think you have to maintain 3.0 uh. Mara loans typically they pay 10-15% alright so that's all for my presentation today which is on uh, BET mechanical design uh, another thing that I should talk to you is on uh, credit transfer program so credit transfer 
uh, you can refer to a uh, table that I will give to you so you can fill it up and send back to me lah. so you have uh, any um, thing to ask me you can uh, call me up on my number 019-593-5801 alright so that's all thank you